<clears throat> Good evening and salutations, my YNR fans. Wow, what an episode. You know, yesterday, I thought that he, like, faked it, right? The alcohol, okay, fine. He's not an alcoholic, but, you know, his... <sighs> His choice is we'll sit there and say candy. So he wound up calling a dealer. And I'm just thinking, okay, maybe they're like sugar pills or whatever, just as placebos or whatever. He actually passed out. He he damn near OD'd. And in today's episode, the paramedics came, gave him something to counteract what was in the system. And the whole thing was like, wait, you really actually... What was your plan at that point? Like seriously, I, I don't, I don't understand that. I felt like that was such a half big, ass dying ass plan. Now, granted, it did work, and it did scare her enough to, um, go to rehab and everything. Meanwhile, Victor has been worried all night, trying to find her and everything like that. Is hanging out with Nick and Victoria, and he gets a call from somebody. Or text from somebody. He goes down there. And of course, because he's Victor Newman, he acts like the most ungrateful jackass possible. Right? He's blaming Jack and everything like that. Basically said, listen, she might have saved your life, but I wouldn't have. Got her in the car and everything like that and, you know, took her away. Then the entire time he was so disappointed that he barely looked at her, right? And she she's like, hey, listen, go easy on him or whatever. Um, I'm just, I'm so surprised that he actually took he actually took that stuff to like <clears throat> I'm dumbfounded at this point. I'm completely and utterly dumbfounded. By the way, yesterday's episode was actually really good. Yesterday's episode was... Yesterday's episode was actually really good. Um, but yeah, so he... Um, anyway, she, she packs a bag or whatever to go down to, to rehab, tells the kids and everything. Um, I say the kids, even though Nick is like 50-something years old and so is, is uh, Victoria. Meanwhile... Um, Nick knows that Victoria and Cole are, are getting closer and stuff. Um, such, it was such a good episode yesterday. Usually, I'm not a fan of, like, it wasn't necessarily a standalone episode, but I'm surprised they didn't actually give a warning towards the end. You know how they did it with, um, uh, I forgot the, Connor? You know, he did that warning at the end. They didn't even do that. But Jack gets home. Kyle was worried about him from the start. Wasn't it? They're calling and be like, yo, listen, where's what's going on? Have you seen Jack and stuff like that? So when Jack gets in the house, he's like, uh, you're, all right, buddy? <laughs> you, you look like hell. Like, what's, what's, what's going on? Um, and of course, you know, he switches the subject. Talks about Harris, and Victor comes to the door, and Victor's like, I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you this once, okay? This is a warning. Stay away from my wife. And the whole time, he's not there blaming him, and, I mean, the, this character has been around way before I started watching the show. Oh, actually, to tell you the truth, I think when he came on, I wasn't even born yet, so, um... You know, he's always had this grudge against him. It's like, he nearly died to sit there and save your wife's sobriety, your wife and her sobriety, and the only thing that you're sitting there thinking is how much is his fault. And don't get me wrong, I didn't think that was an acidine plan. Um, I was like, bro, what are, you, what are you doing? Like, you're already getting drunk, which is like, all right, fine. I mean, you want to... You can handle your alcohol, but then he was like, hey, listen, I'm going to call somebody. The whole, yeah, I, I just, I, anyway. Um, Claire comes by to make sure Harrison does okay and blaming herself and everything. 
And then Summer gets in, and Summer just has that look of stink attitude. Um, even, you know, when she saw Harris hugging her, um, she made it very clear, like, yo, what are you, what are you doing here? Um, because here's the thing, and if she wasn't there, if, if Claire wasn't there, then Harrison wouldn't have got kidnapped. And to be fair, I don't understand why she's just out and about. Um, there could have been a thousand different things that she could have did differently than going straight to her house. She could have called Kyle and had him meet up or whatever, knowing that you have a sociopath that's on the loose. But yeah, she's going to Crimson Lights or whatever to, or yeah, Crimson Lights to go get coffee and stuff because I want to be a normal person. Okay, Claire. Um, now, Victoria was not there worried because she got home and, and, and Claire wasn't there. And Claire got there afterwards and just talked about... Um, they talked about Summer for a little bit. And, you know, she was like, hey, listen, because she ain't... I'm going to be honest. She ain't happy with, with Summer's little stink attitude. But she's like, you know, listen... Give some time, let it thaw out for a little bit, and, you know, give your cousin some grace, he'll come around or whatever. To be honest, she ain't, she ain't happy with uh, Simmons' little stink attitude. I'm not the hugest, the biggest fan of Victoria, but I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm so done. Also, Summer was meant to telling Kyle that, y'all yeah, saying okay. No, no, no. He, he's, he's, he's not okay. He needs therapy. Um, yeah. So the previews, that ain't even happening. And I, I can understand. Because her fear was worrying that by helping Nikki, it was going to bring up his own demons. That's exactly what I'm happening. I feel like that's pretty much about it. I can't think of anything else, but as I always sit there and say, I know there's probably more. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows, The Young and the Restless, Days of Our Lives, Born and Beautiful, and General Hospital. And I'll see you in the next video.